Protesters walk through the wreckage of their former stronghold, giving themselves up to police ready to face arrest and prosecution. This is the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. What's left behind proof of the violent clashes between protesters and police over the weekend. This protester's weapon of choice was a bow and arrow. Happy to pose for photos on Saturday, by Tuesday he is exhausted and walks out to be arrested by police. So what, why did you decide to use a bow and arrow within this movement? We are not a monster, we are not the curious. We just want to protect myself. The police had said bow and arrow is lethal, a lethal weapon, so they may use live fire. But their guys have a gun, want to kill us. We don't have a choice. But not everyone is ready to accept defeat. So-called frontliners watch helplessly as others leave. This one tells us he is 16 years old. He says he's been here for eight days and he's so tired he struggles to keep his eyes open. But he's determined to keep fighting. We want to stay behind and liberate Hong Kong. A lot of people are leaving. What, what do you, how do you feel about that? I think we should keep going and stay. Hong Kong is relying on us. So for those that want to stay and fight, they have plenty of weapons. This is the main courtyard uh, just next to the main entrance and there are boxes and crates of petrol bombs still here. We have seen methanol, we've seen acetone, probably taken from one of the laboratories within the campus itself. There's lighter fluid, there are gas canisters and it's all just casually left here in the middle of the courtyard. Just a week ago, stockpiles of explosives like this would have been shocking, but a lot has changed in a week. Eric Chung is a solicitor who has voluntarily come to advise those who want to leave. For those underage, uh, they know that we got to deal with uh, the police, that uh, they won't be arrested, so they can, leave ho uh, they can return home soon. Medics stand by to treat those who have given themselves up, Youngsters wrapped in foil, exhausted and sombre, as the reality of the consequences of their actions sets in. Paula Hancock's CNN, Hong Kong.